All right. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. This is the and welcome to the 2020 LD4 conference on linked data in libraries. Um, today is the infrastructure track, and we will be um, starting off a presentation with Anna Leonetti um, from Castellini Libri. But just a few logistics um, on this screen, you'll see links to the conference schedule and the conference site. Encourage you to also use Twitter to um, address questions to the conference. Um, or any other um, uses for that for um, that platform. There's also a Slack channel um, for LD4 2020 infrastructure track. We encourage you to join that to continue the discussion on presentations that will happen today. And then finally, the community participation guidelines can be found at the link at the bottom. So please review that um, when you are able. So without further ado, um, Anna Leonetti will be presenting interconnections in the linked data world, the share VDE experience. Okay, hi everyone, and uh, thank you, Eric, for moderating this session, and thanks to uh, LD4P for organizing the organizing this great conference, all despite the uh, these difficult times. I'm going to share my screen so that you can see the presentation. Okay, so. Uh, I assume that um, some of you already know uh, and are already familiar with the uh, ShareVD, but for those who don't, um, ShareVD is a library driven initiative uh, that brings together the uh, bibliographic and authority catalogs from uh, a community uh, of libraries in, um, with the aim of converting original marked data from libraries to linked data in a, in a shared discovery environment. Uh, probably I will dive uh, more in depth uh, uh, some of the main uh, steps uh, that ShareVD achieved over over the last years. But uh, to introduce briefly this presentation, um, well, the, the track of this session is uh, infrastructure and uh, the foundation of uh, linked data infrastructure are interconnections. So the um, this presentation stems from the idea uh, of reflecting on the meaning of uh, interconnections for Chevy D, not strictly from uh, uh, a technical perspective, partly because this is not my uh, my role in Chevy D. Uh, uh, for Chevy D, I uh, support the, the project management and uh, um, coordinate the communication among partners and uh, uh, arrangement of documentation and meetings and so on. So this will not be uh, a strictly technical session, but the, the idea was to, to give uh, um, a higher level perspective on how Chevy D uh, interacts with uh, external systems, um, other initiatives and uh, and so on. Um, so uh, linked data, uh, again, as we all know, means interconnections by nature. And with this idea in mind, ShareVD was born to connect the uh, bibliographic catalogs across the library community to build a network of uh, library resources converted into linked data and published on ShareVD discovery portal. Uh, and the part, uh, a big part of this work is also to build um, a common knowledge base of clusters of entities, of linked data entities that are generated from the conversion from MARC to uh, linked data in, uh, in RDF and in uh, uh, an adaptation of big frame uh, um, model. So, ShareVD was born originally uh, as a, a pilot project uh, um, with a strong focus on uh, research and, de and development uh, a few years ago. So, we started with uh, piloting the, the conversion in linked data of a, of a set uh, of bibliographic uh, catalogs from uh, a set of libraries. Then the, uh, our activities evolved and uh, we, we are now uh, in what we call the, the production phase, meaning that we uh, are uh, an active initiative providing um, conversion from uh, uh, traditional uh, mark-based formats to, to linked data and uh, the publication of this data on ShareVD platform. Uh, Nevertheless, the uh, research and development uh, focus of our work is still uh, 
uh, still alive, meaning that we are uh, continuing to, to apply uh, a research approach to the way we, we build uh, the technical infrastructures, uh, to the way we, uh, we work with the data, and um, uh, I will show you examples over later in this presentation of that. And uh, in the way we try to find solution, um, solutions to manage uh, data coming from uh, sometimes very different uh, sources and very different uh, cataloging practices. Um, so again, ShareVD now is uh, an active initiative that basically does uh, a few things. Uh, conversion of mark data into linked data, enrichment uh, of uh, the original mark data with identifiers from uh, several uh, sources such as uh, uh, ISNI, BF, uh, Wikidata and so on. ShareVD uh, reconcile the, um, the entities that are generated from the mark records uh, through the conversion in linked data. So there is this reconciliation work that uh, builds clusters of entities such as uh, uh, agents, uh, works, uh, uh, and so on, that are published in linked data on the ShareVD platform. Um, we deliver uh, the converted data, the, the linked data, to the participating libraries, and we, the same, we publish the same data on the uh, ShareVD portal. Uh, ShareVD is uh, an active initiative that has um, a very cooperative uh, approach uh, um, within the partnership, within the um, member library, libraries, and also with uh, external initiatives uh, among all the, um, the LD for production initiative uh, that uh, inspires uh, uh, part of our vision with which we uh, continuously exchange uh, vision and uh, um, and share uh, part of our approach. But uh, we'll go through that uh, um, later on. And uh, the other very important aspect about cooperation is that ShevD libraries uh, really actively participate to the uh, to, to the steering of the uh, what needs to be developed to uh, to improve the uh, the functioning of, of of the system of the of the platform and in various ways. Um, so uh, here I've tried to represent the the concept that as much uh, as linked data is uh, an interconnection of uh, data sets. In the same way, ShareVD is uh, an interconnection of uh, of libraries or of library catalogs. Um, so the one of the uh, most important added values of ShareVD is that we uh, we bring together different catalogs from uh, from different sources, uh, meaning different libraries, uh, to build uh, a shared uh, environment of authoritative data. So this means that uh, the end users that navigate through the ShareVD portal are presented with data uh, coming from several libraries, but that are reconciled in a way that users can navigate through resources which are connected to one another. And the, uh, the infrastructure underlying this, uh, the, the way that the portal is functioning, is uh, uh, is the cluster knowledge base. Uh, is uh, are, are the clusters of, of entities that uh, uh, are generated from the conversion from Mark to uh, to linked data. And again, the, the platform itself, of course, is uh, is based on the linked data infrastructure. Um, ShareVD over time uh, has also evolved in what we uh, we like to call the, the share family, which means that we have um, ShareVD uh, initiative, uh, uh, as I have presented it so far, and other parallel projects uh, that follow the, the same, exactly the same approach as ShareVD, but that are focused on, uh, on specific domains. For example, here you see the, the share art branch uh, that is focused on uh, um, art library 
domain, uh, then we we plan to to have a pilot with the music data, and uh, so this will be the uh, the share music branch uh, of the family. Um, by the way, we have also expanded over time the the, the pool of libraries that uh, are active uh, actively participating to ShareVD that are ShareVD members and. Uh, uh, since the initial pool of um, US and Canadian libraries, now we have uh, an increasing involvement of uh, European libraries. We have the, uh, particularly national libraries, such as the National Library of Norway, of Finland, uh, the British Library, and uh, uh, the most recent uh, acquisition, which I'm very happy to announce, is that the, the, the Library of Congress also joined um, ShareVD membership. Um, so, more in depth into the uh, various ways in which ShareVD interacts uh, with other uh, initiatives. This is an attempt to, to represent uh, uh, these interconnections and uh, how we uh, interact with different actors in broadly in the linked data world and more specifically into the BibFrame community. Uh, and I will, I will show, we'll try to, uh, to explain each one of, of these um, examples of interconnections. So the first thing is uh, the way that um, ShareVD um, has um, approached the, uh, the software architecture. So we uh, the, the, the basic uh, connection of ShareVD system with uh, its uh, libraries is the tenant infrastructure. That means uh, th this is the first way that ShareVD connects with, uh, uh, with its library catalogs. And uh, uh, this means that the, the data uh, of libraries are organized, uh, as you can see here, uh, subdivided in uh, in domains so we have the the major chevy d tenant the share art tenant which uh, uh, is what i was mentioning before uh, uh, when i was talking about the, the the share family the share art uh, branch uh, has also uh, its specific tenant so this uh, um, is a way to interact with software architecture that provides for a more efficient data management firstly and uh, a technological sustainability. Uh, I, I won't be, I won't go in, into more details about that, but uh, this is a quite important uh, aspect of how we, we manage the, uh, the ShareVD infrastructure. And uh, another example I can make is that we, we plan to have uh, the tenant for national libraries, for example, because the idea is to group together uh, libraries that have similar uh, peculiarities and so similar uh, issues or similar uh, needs to be uh, to be addressed. Uh, this is an example of interconnection with external systems, with other systems uh, uh, external to ShareVD, and uh, particularly uh, with the cataloging module of uh, Synopia in the LD uh, for product. Uh, initiative and uh, what we uh, have done so far was to convert the original MARC uh, data from uh, libraries participating to uh, D4P into linked data in order to uh, to feed the uh, the, the link data for production uh, and uh, in order for particularly for the cataloging module of Synopia to query the data converted by, by ShareVD. Um, what uh, uh, we will do in the uh, LD for production three uh, is to build uh, another interconnection uh, based on uh, on API, basically, uh, to uh, to develop a two-way workflow uh, from uh, data originally cataloged in linked data in Synopia to ShareVD and the workflow back from ShareVD to Synopia. Uh, so here below in, um, uh, in the corner of the slide, you see a representation uh, of the data flow, uh, quite complex data flow that was done by Philip Scrary for the LD4P2. Now we, uh, 
the DL different P3 phase uh, has just started and what we will do is to uh, to work together with the D4P to uh, to optimize this interaction and to build this uh, this two-way uh, workflow. Another uh, important interconnection uh, which is also interesting because this uh, interaction example um, is um, a combination of uh, and both an integrated uh, approach and at the same time an autonomous approach to interconnection. This means that um, ShareVD will be tasked for the LD4P3 uh, project to uh, provide conversion and housing of PCC data. Uh, for which we are uh, envisaging several uh, scenarios for for the uh, for this process of uh, integrating uh, PCC data into ShareVD. Among the uh, the possible approach that we are studying, uh, a proposal is to uh, to integrate PCC into the ShareVD data pool as much as the other ShareVD libraries, but managing uh, the PCC data as a, a, an autonomous tenant. So I go back to this uh, to this slide of, of the tenant infrastructure. The idea is to uh, of one of the possible scenarios for PCC involvement to have a separate tenant specific to PCC to the PCC. This means that uh, PCC data uh, will also have uh, a specific uh, URIs, uh, ad hoc URIs identifying uh, PCC data, and this is a, uh, a way to uh, to integrate this uh, uh, this important PCC pool of data into ShareVD. In the same time, uh, giving broader visibility and uh, autonomy also uh, to the uh, to the PCC data pool. Uh, another uh, way of uh, interacting between ShareVD and other uh, and other actors in the linked data domain is the integration of uh, Wikidata identifiers. As uh, as we all know, Wikidata is uh, increasingly an authoritative uh, uh, source of identifiers for uh, entities uh, in the linked data world uh, more broadly, but also specifically into the library domain. So what we are uh, trying to do is to add this uh, authoritative source into ShareVD by uh, enriching the, uh, the ShareVD entities, the, the link entities uh, generated from the linked data conversion. So agents, uh, works, expression, and so on, with identifiers from Wikidata. We have uh, an ad hoc uh, subgroup who that, that is working on uh, on figuring out uh, how to achieve each precise step of, of the integration. So, uh, how to recognize uh, that the an entity in ShareVD is the the same entity in Wikidata and uh, uh, do the matching between the two entities, and after the matching, uh, integrate uh, the Wikidata identifier into ShareVD and vice versa. Um, so uh, this uh, is something that we are working on. Uh, we have a, a, a doc group for that. Of course, there are there are challenges because uh, one of, of the main challenges is what I've just uh, I've just mentioned. So the uh, the identification of the uh, of the matching between entities, and we 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 are also. Um, providing for uh, manual intervention for that. So we are developing a module uh, that I will uh, probably have the chance to explain better afterwards uh, that will be dedicated also to uh, to the checking, to the manual check uh, of these kind of things and uh, uh, to verify in this, uh, in this specific example of Wikidata that entities match and, uh, and trigger the, the integration. Uh, so, um, everything that I've just said, all these uh, interconnections are possible because of uh, these four main pillars that we have tried to, to identify to describe the, the ShareVD approach. Um, and for each one of, of these pillars, I will try to give uh, practical examples of how we, we are uh, 
we are approaching this uh, uh, this pillar. So first, first of all, integration. Integration means um, uh, an example of integration is precisely how ShareVD platform itself works. So uh, what I was saying before, we we bring together different library catalogs, uh, different different cataloging practices, and we try to find the the most efficient way to uh, to get homogeneous data from all the catalogs and integrate them uh, into uh, our discovery platform. So that um, in order to build this this union catalog uh, that presents resources from several different libraries. So integration is the first thing, but uh, beyond integration, we also have the, the ability to um, to provide for uh, autonomy, uh, autonomous uh, subprojects. Two examples are uh, the the localization of ShareVDE that uh, we are working on with the University of Pennsylvania. So um, the uh, the ability for the University of Pennsylvania to to have uh, a customization of ShareVD with uh, uh, local services uh, of their own uh, OPAC. And by the way, I believe that uh, Beth Picknelly Camden and uh, Jim Han will give a presentation about that during the DLD4 conference. Uh, so you will have the chance to, to know more about that. Um, another example of uh, autonomous uh, uh, autonomy uh, within the integration is this Scooby Catalog. Uh, platform, which is um, uh, a platform dedicated to uh, four libraries of the German Max Planck Institute of Technology. Uh, these are uh, art libraries, and uh, this is a, an, an example of uh, what pertains to the, the share art uh, uh, branch uh, of the family. So again, uh, in this Kubikat Linked Open Data platform, the approach is uh, exactly the same as ShareVD, but um, customized and localized specifically for this group of libraries. Um, the other uh, very, very important aspect is uh, for ShareVD is community engagement. So uh, everything that uh, I've just presented is uh, uh, is based on the active participation of uh, ShareVD member libraries that work in uh, several working groups devoted to analyze uh, specific aspects uh, of the uh, functioning of the system and the management of the data, and from that to, to steer the, the development of ShareVD. So uh, this active participation of ShareVD libraries plus the communication exchange uh, uh, in the broader library community and with other initiatives uh, results in the path from discussion to uh, implementation. So this is what we uh, believe in the community engagement uh, means for us. Um, so the last is the, the last pillar for us is uh, the, the shared vision and uh, this is a, a real example of how uh, the shared vision uh, bring, brought us to, um, to develop uh, um, the, the current uh, entity model that we are adopting in ShareVD. Uh, uh, this was a very um, interesting and, uh, and complex path, but uh, thanks to the, the uh, cooperation and uh, uh, exchange uh, among our partners, we we reached this uh, representation of uh, uh, entity model, which uh, uh, initially was based on uh, big frame of the three layers of uh, big frame. Uh, but then over time, uh, we realized that we needed um, a way to uh, to represent the uh, the most uh, uh, the high highest level of abstraction of uh, the, the the intellectual content of resources. So. Uh, uh, we introduced uh, a fourth level, which was uh, previously named uh, super work. And then uh, for those who followed the uh, these developments, now it's named Opus, uh, as you can see at the top of the uh, of the slide. And uh, this uh, this was done to uh, particularly uh, 
to maintain interoperability with other models. So we needed to uh, to bring together, to, to keep together uh, different uh, cataloging practices, different approaches to, to entity modeling. So what we did was to introduce this fourth level and here you can see the comparison, a very rough comparison uh, of uh, if LRM model, big frame uh, that by the way introduced in their turn the, uh, the hub um, uh, aggregator and what is now the, the Chevy entity model. Where we are now with that, uh, we have just defined uh, the, the, this four layer infrastructure uh, and we will be reviewing this model to, uh, to substantiate the, with attributes and relationships with, uh, uh, among entities. Very last uh, um, thing about interconnection and about this presentation is um, a real tool uh, for connecting um, entities and uh, systems, which is uh, this Jiminy Cricket uh, um, editing module uh, that we have designed uh, um, specifically to act on the link, link data entities within ShareVD database. So this module allows uh, uh, manual editing of uh, um, data about agents, about uh, works, uh, about uh, uh, expressions and the, the entities that we manage in the system. A classical example that I have tried uh, uh, very roughly to, to show here is that the, the, the user of the, of the editing module finds to agents that are actually the same person and uh, acts to merge the two entities into one. So this is the uh, initial purpose of, uh, of this J-Cricket module that actually is evolving to, to provide also for um, more uh, complex uh, uh, and uh, broader scope authority services so that this tool will be able to interact not only within ShareVD system but also uh, to give uh, to library uh, library systems, library ILS, to give back uh, to the ILS authoritative data produced within uh, ShareVD. Uh, and just a, a funny note, we, we named it uh, J Cricket, Jiminy Cricket, uh, uh, because its, uh, its role is to monitor the, the data quality of ShareVD. Uh, to identify the actions to, to correct the data and uh, steer the system in, uh, in the right direction. Um, I believe that uh, I went over the, the time uh, allocated for this presentation, so sorry about that and uh, uh, thank you everyone. Thank you, Anna. That was great. Um, if there are any questions for Anna, if you'd like to use the Q&A feature, I can then read them um, to Anna and we can um, get some feedback to that in that way. Right now I see uh, just a comment that this has been a great presentation. So that's easy. Um, are there any other questions? Yeah. Of course, I'm resharing my screen just to give the chance take note of uh, our contacts. So for any follow-up questions or uh, uh, need of further information, just drop us an email and we'll be happy to uh, to show you more because there is so much that, that we are, have been doing. And Eric, by the way, is very well aware because uh, he is part of, uh, uh, of ShareVD and uh, an active uh, leader of one of the, the working groups. So we, we have so many uh, many other details that we will be happy to uh, to share with you. Okay, great. Uh, and I have a couple of questions coming in. One is, um, can you give me an example of a library in Canada that uses ShareVDE? The University of Alberta. Great. Libraries. Um, next question is, do you have trouble mapping to work entities given that BibFrame doesn't have Ferber work concept and external data is often general and relates to that level of work? Uh, let me reread the question because it might be that it's, this is too technical for me and in case I will be happy to follow up on that, but just... Exactly, that was, uh, okay. This question, uh, 
got the point of what I was showing before. I'm resharing my screen and trying to to explain a bit better. This is uh, this is exactly what we tried to do with our modeling. So. Uh, starting from the three level of work instance and item of big frame, uh, we needed uh, a way to uh, to interoperate also with the uh, if LRM and uh, Fraber and the, the other uh, four layer the models. So uh, what we are actually doing now, starting to do now, is to define more specifically the, the properties and the relationships to interoperate between models. But the, um, uh, the core part of the work that we did so far was to, uh, to understand uh, the, if there was room uh, for us to, uh, to create a, a fourth level starting from big frame. So we, uh, the, the answer that we uh, we gave was yes, but now it's, it's the time to, uh, to put in the model the, the actual relationships and, uh, and attributes to the entities to, to establish proper interoperability. So yes, it was actually a hard process uh, because as you know, the, the work entity in BibFrame uh, is the sum of uh, the most abstract level, the, the, uh, LRM work uh, and LRM expression level. So we, we, we sort of uh, try to, to close the circle with this uh, opus entity that we, we created. I th uh, hey, thanks, Anna. I think there's one follow-up question on this diagram. Um, someone is just asking if you could elaborate more on what you envision the shared vision of this to be. Uh, shared vision means that uh, Libraries, particip mm, participating libraries are uh, uh, coming from different uh, cataloging traditions, uh, if you will. Uh, we have, uh, for example, the, uh, the National Library of Norway uh, and or the British Library uh, that um, typically were more LRM oriented while uh, uh, the original pool of Shevedi library libraries uh, was less LRM oriented. I am, by the way, uh, I am being, uh, I'm aware that I'm being a bit generic uh, in explaining technical matters because, uh, because we don't have much time to, to dive into that. But the, to answer the question, the, the shared vision was that uh, we needed a way to make uh, all these different approaches interoperate. So at, at some point we said, okay, we need to find a, sh a solution that is good for everyone. And that's how we, we, we came to, to this four layered model. I'm probably, I'm, I'm skipping some uh, logic steps, uh, but um, I, I hope that the, uh, the core uh, content is, uh, is clear. Great. Just a few more questions, um, if you don't mind uh, going a little bit over. Um, one question coming in is, what kind of connections are being used to resolve against Wikidata URIs for share VD? I'm not sure I understand the question. Um, ah, okay. Uh, yes, uh, I don't think we have figured it out yet, actually. Uh, probably. Eric, uh, can you confirm that we are still working on that part? Um, yeah, that's actually something that is currently in progress at the moment. Um, we've been talking about it for about a month and a half, and we're kind of figuring out what that interaction is supposed to look like. Um, so it's very much um, uh, at, in discussion right now, and we'd encourage feedback um, for how that potentially could go. Um, so I encourage um, anyone who's interested in the Wikidata side of things to get in touch. Um, with Anna to maybe see if there's a way that we could um, facilitate some gathering of opinions on how that could potentially work. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, okay, and just a few more questions. Um, is there a J Cricket uh, tool that can be used by people without institutional affiliation via GitHub or uh, some other source just for practice? Um, I hope very much about that for the future. <laughs> But meaning that we, um, not yet, we, we don't have something like that yet. Uh, 
uh, we are uh, still in the process of um, of developing the tool for uh, for Chevy D libraries, but uh, in the future, why not? But but so far, we haven't figured out yet a way uh, to make this tool available, uh, a technical way to make this tool available outside the Chevy D environment. But this is something that definitely uh, would be interesting to explore. Great, and then uh, just one last question right now. Um, well, as soon as I said that, another one came in, but. Um, what are the criteria for the program to recognize the proper form of an authority to be merged? So this might be getting a little bit in the weeds, but yeah. Yes, a little bit technical, but uh, generically, um, the, um, the, the this recognition is made through algorithms that are based on, uh, of course, on some uh, access points and uh, uh, specific mark fields, uh, which I'm not able to uh, to report to you right now. But um, th this is precisely some what we are we are going to develop. Uh, so we are defining this uh, matching criteria, but. I'm not able to go more uh, in depth, technically speaking, but I will be happy to follow up on that if uh, if more info will be needed with the technical colleagues that are working on that. Great, and I think I will wrap it up with one last question, just to be respectful of everyone's time. Uh, the last one is, what are the costs and requirements for participating in Share VD? Uh, about this, we have the. Uh, uh, membership uh, model so it's membership based and so far the the, the membership uh, has been established uh, generically year by year but uh, actually we can uh, configure uh, the, the membership uh, according to the needs of, of the libraries and uh, more specific requirements uh, I would suggest to definitely to, to, to drop us a line uh, at the uh, info at shervd.org and uh, we'll give you more information also about that. Great. Thank you again so much, Anna. Um, so this Thank presentation, you. oh yeah, um, this presentation was recorded, so we'll be making that available and um, also we'll be trying to get slides for presentations also available from the SCED website for the conference. So look for that um, in the future. So thank you again, everyone, and um, we will see you uh, later today in different presentations. Thank you.